Uh, right YouTube, it's uh, Wow Sly. Um, just a quick vid, a bit of an update for the uh, off-grid shack. Um, the new solar system's coming along. Um, I haven't got a lot of time tonight, so I've just quickly wired up the basics and I'll do the rest of the fiddly stuff later. Um, I've had the charge controller on power for a couple of days, just off a, a battery, wired up to nothing. Um, just to see how it's ticking over. Ticked over fine, and for three days and two nights, it used 0.2 volts, so tiny, tiny draw on the power there. Um, everything's going fine. It's, we've got 12 degrees Fahrenheit in the shack. We've got no power coming in because it's dark now. And um, yeah, that's all set up and working. I've got it wired into the new fuse box, and uh, I've kept the uh, the old input for the solar panel, and I've kept the old output for the shack power. Um, and I said I just want to get the basics wired up at the moment I've got it pegged back off the go box there's the go box with the old voltmeters and the old breakers and the old charge controller which I want to do away with because it's a lot of wires um, so I've got 12.4 in there and again that turns on the power out so I'm piggybacking off that at the moment for power because um, I just wanted to get the the, some of this wired up um, that goes to the 10 amp that's the 10 amp fuse for the uh, outlets there and I've got a 32 amp breaker here uh, so I'll wire up the inverter probably tomorrow and then a f 6 amp there um, for lights but at the moment I've just got some USB lights plugged into there um, just for testing purposes and you know it's a double breaker there for the battery bank and the solar panel so if the battery goes flipping mental and trips out it'll tri trip the panel too because um, you shouldn't have power going in to a charge controller without the battery and again for any maintenance you know I'd turn them both off and I know it's safe um, that's, that's it about it but it's all simple stuff um, so at the moment I've got the radio plugged in and a light I'll turn the system on and that's fired up and turn on that socket there and that's that um, obviously the solar panels come on with the main system switch so that socket there is live when I flick that and there's the lights up there on off on off so they're just temporarily running off that until I get them wired into the free amp um, that will also be coming that will be coming off no, sorry, the 6 amp, that will be coming off the uh, the 10 amp output on the charge controller. And the 32 amp will be wired directly to the battery bank. It will just piggyback off there, straight into there. And then that will go to the inverter. No, it won't. That one, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to wire these two together for the inverter. So that will, the 32 amp inverter will just piggyback off the, uh, the battery bank. Um... And then go out to the inverter. The inverter's got two 30 amps fuses built into it. Um, that's it, really. Just want to show you. It's up and running. Um, just lights and radios at the moment. I've uh, got no inverter. It's not even enough. I want to put the inverter on it, really. Um, but yeah, at least I can get some charge in the battery. At the moment, it's 64%, 12.3 volts. And. Uh, yeah, the main thing is I want to get some life. I want to start using it. I've had it all week. All right, that's it. Stay tuned for the updates. Um, I'm going to go in and get some dinner. Kind of hungry now. Keeping the bulkhead light. That's a handy bit of kit. And I've still got the old power from lamp. Got some pictures on the wall. All right, catch you on the next vid.